Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick tour of something Google has put together recently called Cultural Institute. And what Cultural Institute basically is, is collections or curations of art, historic moments, and then kind of more current worldviews or pieces that might be considered artistic, world wonders, that type of thing that um, exist in the world today. If you Google Cultural Institute, you'll get this home screen, and there's three basic categories, art projects, historic moments, and world wonders. So art projects is a curation of beautiful pieces of art from around the world. And these are basically pieces that you could see in museums, um, collections that have been, um, that Google has been given access to, to share. And what I want to show you is how you can um, take in the pieces. So if you're looking at um, different collections or that type of thing, if you um, perhaps click on something that you're interested in, you'll notice that there's a little plus sign. And if you click on that plus sign, it will actually save a collection for you. So you can start collecting and putting together pieces of these uh, collections for yourself to be used however, however you'd like. So for example, I have collected um, some pieces that are self-portraits and I was thinking about doing a piece on selfies and kind of the historical and cultural significance of selfies. Are they really that new? Is it something that we should be worried about with all this narcissistic behavior? And um, so I have collected some artistic pieces of different artists and each piece is detailed out with the background information, when it was created, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you go here to details, you get even more information. So it gives you a description of the piece and will tell you when it was created, what it actually the original piece actually looks like physically and um, et cetera, et cetera. What I liked is if you have a piece that's fairly modern, they'll actually connect you with video or um, other pieces that have been created about the author or artist or creator and, and then give you even more information. So it's kind of a nice little collection of research right there. The next element is something called historic moments and these are uh, historic museum exhibits that have been collected uh, curated by google or even created by google to be shared on this source many of the pieces or many of the collections are actually in the original languages that in from the based on the countries that they were displayed in and it's very searchable. You can um, search it by whatever topic they might be, be interested in. And so, so if you click on a collection, just like a modern day museum exhibit, you get the photography or the pieces that are being displayed. You get the captioning of each part of the exhibit as it actually would be displayed and how it was laid out as you would perhaps walk around a room if you were an actual gallery, which is, I think is a really powerful experience for kids. Getting to see these displays uh, where normally only people who maybe lived in big cities, international cities around the world would get a chance to take a look at. So I, I think um, academically this is quite a opportunity. The last part of Google Cultural Institute is the world wonders. And this is using Google Street View, Google Earth, and collecting kind of live camera pictures or video or experiences, whatever you wanna say, of places around the world. Uh, so for example, they, they give you some little sample examples as you go through. Here we have Stonehenge, we have um, if you want to look at the Palace of Versailles or perhaps the Taj Mahal and if you pick one of these locations it will give you some of course some background information a little bit more artistic pieces that were curated uh, through the different historical 
uh, elements of Cultural Institute. And then of course you have Street View, so you can click on it and kids can actually walk around and look at the piece. This is what it would look like today as you walked through. And if you would want to go through and experience it like any other tourist uh, going to visit one of these great landmarks that are um, renowned. And so uh, I think cultural, the Cultural Institute is, is a treasure chest of information, of research, and of, if anything, some beautiful, beautiful imagery that I think in any content area, um, it could be used in a very powerful way. So I hope you jump on, take a look at Cultural Institute, and I hope you have a good day.